Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be doing a 100% honest review of famous and underrated slime shops and I really hope that you enjoy it. I'd also like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Check them out through the link below if you aren't already familiar with them, but to give a small description of Skillshare, it's basically an online learning community with loads of classes and I used to use it all the time in school to help with languages. Spanish ones are especially great, but they also have DIYs, business skills and tons of other stuff. My favourite section at the moment definitely has to be the Halloween DIYs as they're so creative and informative and I know how much you guys love Halloween so I know you guys will love it too. I also love the save tab because you can change the duration of the videos you want to watch that day and you can also see what you watched just in case you forgot to save something or you found something really interesting which I think is great and the site's already super affordable at less than $10 a month annually but since Skillshare is sponsoring this video they're giving the first 500 people that sign up via the link below in the description their first two months free and premium membership gives you unlimited access to all the high quality classes on the platform so don't miss out and sign up via the link below. First up we have Pop Pie from Borax Buddy Slime and everyone on Instagram has been talking about this so I could not wait to get my hands on it and I was so impressed as soon as I opened it. It has the coziest smell about it, I think it's like a warm apple pie scent. And then inside the slime we have some orange java chips to represent carrots and also some flown beads in green to represent peas. The slime is super unique in texture so if you own loads of slimes you will definitely not be disappointed if you have this. I really really love it, it's unlike any of the other slimes I have and the scent is just amazing. Next up we have Glitz and Glam which I was so impressed with because this is so thick and so clicky at the same time and I don't know how she does this because I don't think she uses glycerin, she must have like a secret ingredient. In the slime she uses a ton of cool glitters and my favourite one is definitely the micro glitters because you can't see them too well in the slime here. It kind of looks silver in this light but when it's kind of at an angle and it's sitting on the top of the slime it looks like an ultraviolet blue which is so cool. And then it also has some fishbowl beads in there for texture but this is just such a gorgeous slime. It has an amazing smell as well. It kind of smells like a mix of bed linen and a sweet sugar scent, I would say. Cotton Candy Shake was one of my favourite slimes because I love mixing all the colours together and this came with the cutest charm on top as well. So when you push this down, I was expecting it to be quite tough because the slime wasn't wet at all. So when I was mixing it together, I decided to try and fluff it up and as you can see from pulling it straight away, it just turns into instant fluff which I think is great. It's really great beginner's cloud slime and as the name suggests, it smells just like Cotton Candy. It's so gorgeous. It's not overpowering at all. It's like the perfect amount of scent in there. Sharon Sherbet is another really gorgeous cloud slime. This one has a much lighter consistency, I would say. It's a tiny bit more wet, so this is probably why, but this flows so smoothly. It's so, so nice to drizzle. And as you can see, the colors are super vibrant as well. And they mix to make a really nice fiery orange color. And the scent, as the name suggests, is like sherbet. I would say it's kind of like a fruity sherbet more than like a sugary sherbet, but I love it regardless. If you don't like wet slimes, this probably isn't the one for you, but as you can see, the drizzles are so worth it. And I think this slime is amazing. Amazing. Next up we have Black Free Buttercream which has such a unique scent. It's a really creamy scented slime but it also has a really fresh blackberry scent which is really lovely. As you can see the slime itself is also super airy and a gorgeous butter slime and my hands just sink into this. I really love playing with this. Bora 
Ouroboros is another really gorgeous butter slime. This did arrive a tiny bit tough just because of the weather here at the moment, so I put it in my airing cupboard for about three days and it turned into a super creamy slime. At first it comes marble blue and green, but once you've mixed it together, it turns into a really nice turquoise colour and it smells like fresh bed linen. Everything came bubble wrapped and nothing leaked, but the best thing about this was definitely the extras. They had their own personal pot pie pins, but the best thing was my candy. They sent a bag of loads of sour candy. My favourite things were in there, which is Zots, and there were also some Sour Patch Kids. Next up we have the person you guys have all been requesting, and this is Parakeet Slimes. And this is her cereal milk one, which I think is her most popular one of all time. And the first thing that I really loved about this was it doesn't have the typical Captain Crunch cereal milk scent. She's actually mixed her own, I'm pretty sure. And it's a really realistic scent. It smells like the genuine smell of milk mixed with cereal instead of just Captain Crunch. It's so unique and I was so refreshed to have a genuine cereal smell and I know I'm going on about this but I was just so pleasantly surprised because you get so sick of the same scent over and over. And then the slime itself was just beautiful. It was so glossy. It had such good bubble punches and she doesn't use glue all I don't think so it's a really different texture from all of the other kind of really popular thick slimes at the moment and I just can't rave about this enough. It's amazing. Sour Blue Raspberry Limeade really surprised me because on Instagram it kind of just looks like a basic slime but as you can see this is such a thick slime, has such a gorgeous scent, oh my goodness. The scent is like really tangy, really raspberry but also super limey so it's just everything. I think she probably mixes her own but whatever she uses it's amazing. This slime was just so so good, I was completely blown away by it, I wasn't expecting to love this one as much as I did but this has such a good scent, inflates so much and just such a great texture. This was the slime that made me decide that I really wanted to try out her slimes because it's so glossy and then when you touch it, it goes to matte. And as you can see, this one is just so thick. Just, it's amazing. It's the typical slime that I love. It smells really creamy. I don't actually know what a butterscotch smells like, but it's kind of like a mix of toffee cream, I would say, in this one. Because the slime's so thick, it has such nice bubble crunches and I just love everything about this. All of her slimes really blew me away in how thick they were. Party milk is kind of based off cereal milk scent. I think it has a bit of Captain Crunch mixed in. No offense to the Captain Crunch scent. I just love her original cereal milk scent. And this is another really thick one. As you can see, this turns matte. It has really nice little confettis at the bottom. And although the slime's super thick, it isn't one that can't stretch. As you can see, it's super smooth flowing and just so stretchy, so fun to play with. And again, gives off really great bubble crunches.
Oreo milk is the one that everyone's raving about at the moment, so I knew this one was going to be amazing. And like most of her slimes, it's super thick, really glossy at first, then turns matte, but this has gorgeous little glitters in there just to represent the little cookie crumbles, and the scent is so, so nice. Again, this is a mix of cereal milk and I think a bit of Oreo. It's really like fresh, fruity, but also, I wouldn't say fruity, I guess, it was more like a sweet scent with some Oreo in there, and it's so, so creamy. And it inflates so much, so it turns into a completely different texture. Parakeet Slimes is definitely not an overrated slime shop. I just loved all of her slimes. Everything about the package was amazing too. She included a few packets of borax, some sweets, and some care sheet cards. And she's also given me a little discount for you guys, so check that out in the description. It's totally Lisa. It's named after my sixth toe, which doesn't exist, but yeah, I'll, I'll write more about that in the description. Next up, we have a UK slimer called Slime by Mittens. And as you can see, this gold slime is so thick and also so pigmented. I think they must use a paint in this because this color is amazing. And then they have two little bee charms in there which are really really cute but the slime itself is so thick and yet so stretchy they actually used a really unusual glue for this so it has a hard top at the start but then once you mix it in it turns into a perfect slime and as you can see this slime is just beautiful Snow White had the freshest apple scent ever. It was so gorgeous. It smelled a lot like a lush shower gel that was limited edition a few years ago. So it was so great for me to play with this. As you can see, the top is so glossy and then underneath it has loads of glitters. It's a really nice jelly textured slime. And what I was so impressed with, but this did not melt at all. I had this for two months. I did play with it here and there, but I always keep my slimes for a while just to see if they mold or like have anything gross happen to them. But this stayed perfect and it didn't melt a bit. Oreo Loops had a really gorgeous kind of cookies and cream scent. I wouldn't say it was Oreos, but it's a really, really comforting cookies and cream scent. As you can see, it's kind of like an off-white color in the glue. It's not particularly thick. It's just a nice little flow with some Java chip textures. A weird thing about their slimes, which I actually contacted them about, was that they have like a weird hard layer on the top of their clear slimes, and they just said they weren't using Elmer's, but now they switched to it. As you can see, this slime is beautiful. It has really nice iridescent flakes in there. It's so clear, so thick, and I just love playing with this. It also isn't scented just to maintain the clarity, but I didn't mind at all. I just thought this slime was a dream to play with. Sandcastle is a really nice cloud slime. As you can see, it fluffs up almost instantly. It smells like fresh bed linen and it also has a gold like pigment, I think it is on the top. I would say glitter, but it didn't come off like a glitter in the slime after it was mixed in. So I think it was just probably adding to the color. But as you can see, this drizzles really smoothly. It's a really nice texture. It's a tiny bit wet, but I don't really mind that. And it's really fun to play with. I 
absolutely love the decorations on the top of Cookie Crisp. It has a little like bare toast, I think it is, and then some confetti, and then on the bottom there's more confetti and also some like cookie crumble like um, chocolates, I guess you could say. But this is an amazing slime. As you can see, it's really drizzly, very dry, and it's just really fun to play with. I was a little disappointed with It's Hot Outside because I couldn't actually smell a scent on this and it might just be that I couldn't smell it and there was one in there. The slime is a lot thicker than the other cloud slimes and it's a lot more dry as well I would say. So it doesn't drizzle as smoothly but it's more like connected as you can see here. So when you play with it it's more of a doughy texture more than like a looser slime. I quite like it. If you don't like those types of slimes it's absolutely fine but I, yeah it's still a cloud slime and it's still really good. Everything came really beautifully wrapped in crepe paper and also bubble wrapping. My favourite thing about this was definitely the extras, they were so creative, like one of them was a um, piñata ornament for a Christmas tree I think it is, and then they included the standard stuff like a care sheet and bora. Before we close out this video, I'd just like to wish Ashley a very happy one year anniversary on her marriage with Matthew. He emailed me the other day telling me you watch all my videos and you even comment on a lot of them as well, so I wanted to do the shout out for you and I hope you guys have the best day. And to everyone else watching, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and I will see you next week.